What is going on YouTube? It is me, Elias, back here with a new video, and I'm going to be breaking down the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, I'd say ugly 16-10 win last night versus the Cleveland Browns on Sunday night. Now, what I'm going to say about the Ravens defense is that the defense, you know, did a good job, you know, limiting uh, Nick Chubb to like 16 yards, almost, and also limited running back Kareem Hunt to 20 yards, which is good of the Ravens defense. And, uh... Speaking of linebacker Patrick Queen, he had a beast game last night. Three tackles for loss of yards. I know when Patrick Queen Patrick Queen did a tackle, he was like, boom, being on his chest. So good performance by Patrick Queen. Now, uh, I know Tyus Bowser, he had a sack also, which was good for the Ravens defense. Now for the Ravens offensive side of the ball, this started to not look good unexpectedly. Like, I know the Ravens got the win, but here's the, the strange thing. With like two or one minute left in the second quarter before halftime, Lamar Jackson threw three interceptions. I was like, what the hell? How would Lamar Jackson only threw like three interceptions right before halftime? And a turnover party, here we come. I know uh, Odafe Owe, he recovered... Uh, a strip fumble from a Jarvis Landry or Tyus Bowser did that. And also I saw Owe strip sack Baker and recovered it. So back and forth, we had a turnover party. And in the second half, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, Lamar Jackson, he threw his fourth interception of the game. Fourth. And that was crazy. Um, his fourth interception went out to... Uh, I think it was uh, John Johnson the third or Ronnie Harrison. The first interception was by Denzel Ward. Then the other one was by Grant Delpit, Ronnie Harrison. And like I said, fourth one was by John Johnson. Crazy to see Lamar Jackson throw a career high four interceptions in the game. And that was crazy. Even though Baker Mayfield was uh, sacked by the Ravens defense. I know Lamar turned the ball over, but crazy. I know uh, Mark Andrews, the tight end, he had a touchdown, and that was insane. You know, uh, there was a part when Mark Andrews had a one-handed grab when he fell to the ground, and that was the most epic catch I've ever seen in Mark Andrews' Ravens career, ever since coming into the league out of the University of Oklahoma. Now, Lamar, I think uh, Lamar was sacked one time by the pass rusher, who went to the University of Texas A&M. Yep, you know who it is, Miles Garrett. So, speaking of this game, I know uh, Devontae Freeman, the running back, he carried the Ravens. And Rashad Bateman, he had catches, including uh, a Duvernay. He had some uh, handoffs and, like I said, good for Devontae Freeman, the running back, and Latavius Murray. He came back, which is good. Now for uh, Marlon Humphrey, he uh, did a good job attempting to shut down Jarvis Landry, like including Harrison Bryant. Harrison Bryant, the tight end, was held to 50 yards, and Jarvis Landry was held to 111 yards. And tight end David Njoku had a touchdown. First off, his knee was behind the goal line, and I thought the Browns were going to go first and goal, but they just gave him the TD. Crazy uh, review by uh, Jerome Boger and the refs. So, uh, yeah, good for Odafe Owe, Patrick Queen, Tyus Bowser, and Marlon Humphrey slowing down Baker Mayfield and the Browns rushing attack. So, yeah. Next week, the Ravens are going to the Steel City. I'll break that preview down in three days, so tune in. Good job to the Ravens getting this 16-10 win last night versus Cleveland. I know Lamar got ticked off because of the four interceptions he threw, but hope he'll improve during practice this week. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. See you on Thursday for the Pittsburgh preview. Bye.